Hello and welcome back. This is the Moat, and we are going back in to my world for the January 2016 Michael Deering Hardcore Challenge. And uh, we're down here, but there's new noises upstairs. Start my timers. I hear a door being banged on by a zombie, so we better go check it out. I guess I should eat while I'm at it. Alright, there we go. Just in case, I hear somebody banging on a door. And let's see. I heard it. Shouldn't have been too far away. Hmm. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. I think I may have lost some guys in here. Yes, I sure did. I did put torches in there, though. Hmm. All right, well, that's a problem. See if we lost anybody else. Yep. That's interesting. I did put torches in there, but apparently not enough. So that's a that's a very bad thing. All right. Well, these guys are still okay. They're okay. Uh, it looks like everybody else is fine. So far. Yep. All right. Interesting. So even after I lit up, I apparently did not light it up enough, obviously. Oh, that's very sad. There's nobody in here? Oh, okay, good. All right, well, we do still have... <laughs> well, that's a that's a bigger fail than I expected to have, but that's all right. Uh, and it looks like I lost, I don't know, four or five in here. Um, yep. That's very distressing. Sorry, guys. Let you down. That's the one... There's five adults and a baby in there. All right, well, uh, right now I guess I can just leave them in there. Don't have a whole lot of choices. I'll leave them in there and sort of blockade them. And uh, if I play this after the nine episodes, or if I can get down to the nether and get a get a uh, potion, we'll go ahead and get that started. All right, well, that's not quite the way I expected to start the episode, but it is what it is. Hmm. So, one of my goals will be to try to save them at some point in time. Alright, well, let's see. Um, so, I'm going for, for a bit of a loop. Alright, so what we're going to do is, let's see what we have for materials. Um, probably need to get some more wood here. We have some, some of the nice granite. That's granite, right? We have a little bit of diorite. Um... A little bit of andesite, really nothing there. Look at that. Okay. All right. So I think the first thing to do is to, we're going to add some doors in here. Uh, we need to finish getting some coal um, so that we can, do I have another, I'm going to need another pickaxe here. Uh, so we can get some torches going. Um, yeah, no, I've got that. Okay. So we can get some torches and finish lighting up the village. I thought, I seriously thought the guys, those zombies were outside banging on the outside of the door, but not to be. And let's see. Uh, you can get rid of that. These we use. And torches is the big thing for right now. Okay, so we can finish lighting up the rest of the town here so that we can let the rest of the, of the villagers out. Now, as I recall, uh, that's going to bot. That's going to haunt me for a while, isn't it? As I recall, there's a some coal right out here someplace. Um, just down in one of these. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Let's go ahead and get this. Get those torches and we'll go get some wood. And then we can light up the inside. And go from there. Now, in the interim, I've... Uh, Went over and started watching uh, Grandma's Got Games um, villager tutorial. A uh, set of tutorials, actually. There's five of them. I'm, I've only watched the first two so far. But uh, she does a great job explaining the villager mechanics. I'd, I'd read them on the wiki before, but never really followed through. I didn't get, you know, didn't, well, didn't follow them very well. I kind of grasped the general idea, but I didn't, didn't really pay attention to what it really meant. And she does a great job laying that out. So we're going to, so I think, uh, one concept is to try to go ahead and get 
more villagers now that I've lost a few of them. Uh, we'll go ahead and barricade those guys in and hope to keep them alive. If I don't go too far away, hopefully I'll, they won't despawn while I'm down here. Um, and uh, I just made it where to go. Well, I mean, I didn't make a... I wasn't thinking things through very clearly there. Do I have any wood? I don't have enough wood even. I <laughs> didn't bring what I needed. Uh, and I don't. Yes. All right. Well... Now let's go get the wood. I'll go over here. Um, and she does a very nice job discuss, uh, describing in there uh, how you, how you need to lay out the doors in order to get more villagers. So since we, since I need more villagers, we're going to go ahead and do that. So I think the first priority here is to get some wood here during the day. We'll go back here in a little bit and. Maybe see if we can get some more uh, coal. I think there's some iron deposits down there. Excuse me while I make a little bit of room on my table here. I've got too much stuff in one spot. And um, see what we can do. I hear you, Sir Cow. Uh, so I was going to originally, starting this episode, hoping that uh, my villagers in that room hadn't been killed. Um, or transformed floating rocks there uh, it was to try to increase the number see if we can get a um, get some baby villagers that would be great but also get some iron golems or a, an iron golem would even be great uh, so I think that's still gonna be the goal I don't see myself getting to the nether and um, getting potions and apple enough apples and whatnot to, to save all these guys in the nine episodes. So let's see what we can do about increasing villagers otherwise. Hello, bunny. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, and, and we'll kind of go from there. Okay, well, there's good. There's lava down there. All right, not time for for investigating right now. Um, do we have? Yes, good. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get some more trees while we're at it. There we go. There are some saplings I wanted. Don't want to make this a all prairie here. And so we're going to add some doors to some of the houses that exist currently. Uh, we'll also um, we'll try to make some some of the houses a little nicer. Maybe make a nicer house or two. Uh, if we have time. Oh, more coal down there. Great. Uh, so we'll look to do that. Um, we could also upgrade the um, fence. I mean, there's just a ton of things that we can do. So let's first get our wood going. Um, yeah, I think that's... All right, let's go ahead and take some of this birch for variety. And... Catch that. I haven't been watching too many people's videos so far. I've only seen Kong's uh, and Grandma's Got Games first video. Try to catch some of the other people's. Um, I like the way Kong and Kaz are working together. They've got a nice fence going up there. It looks like things are going well for them. And it's funny how many people have commented on cringing when I didn't light up the interior of those houses. And of course, now uh, we have. Uh, <laughs> now. The, the dread came true, unfortunately, after I added some lighting, but obviously not enough. So that's uh, um, not what I wanted to see. It is funny how I usually try to take good care of villagers whatnot. I, I have more sentiment for creatures in here than in the game than I think uh, sometimes I run across. Uh, an iron golem iron farm is just... Uh, I can't bring myself to do it, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I'm uh, doing a little skyblock uh, thing right now, and, and um, you're just not ready to start uh, you know, killing iron golems just to make uh, just to make iron happen. So um, it's funny how I can take uh, creatures in the game that don't don't even really exist, and yet I just have reluctance to to uh, cause them harm, especially when their purpose is specifically you know, very positive. So, uh, you know, they protect the villagers. It just doesn't seem right to go through and create an iron 
farm out of that to me. Um, which is why I never move very fast on some of these games. I got, I got some. We'll, get, we'll finish up this axe here real quick. And then uh, we, can, we can grab the rest of that. How much coal did I get? Well, that's enough for, for our purposes right now. There we go. All right. I hear you, Kyle. Uh, what do I have? You might, you might get an apple out of. Just try real quick. Nope, no more apples. I got all the apples I was going to get, I guess. All right, we'll replant this forest. And if we decide to do that uh, more later, I'm going to take out the ones that might stick around. I, you know, those will, those will stick around because of the wood in the tree. All right, well, I'll clean that up later <laughs> as I as I continue to do it. All right. Okay, so we're getting on towards evening already. Gosh, time flies when you're disturbed. Let's, uh -huh. Yep. There's a creeper buddy. That's exactly why I one oh come on. Thank you. Alright, well I wanted to get oh hello. You can stay right over there if you want. Alright, so let's uh Okay, let's go ahead and make at least this many torches. Uh, oh yeah, I did good. Do that. There we go. Okay, so we've got um, <laughs> you gonna follow me around, little guy? All right. Let's go ahead and just do that for the for these. Anyway. No, why why jump when you don't have to? Alright, that'll help with this area. Um, let's see where are the worst. Obviously inside there's a problem, but I'm not gonna worry about that now. There they all got uh yep. Alright, well. That's just so sad. Yeah, I guess the only one there. Uh, I tried, but didn't work. Let's go ahead and light it up now. Very disappointed. All right, let's see. That one's already lit up. How are we doing? Let's get some out here. Those are probably pretty good. Um, go ahead and get these. Help the plants while we're at it. We need something. Yeah, well. Rather more than not. Even if it's too late in the game. For some of my poor villagers. Let's get something there. Let's see. With the brightness on high, it's it's yeah, I do find it very difficult to identify where the dark Hi. Dark spots are. Get some visibility here. I hear you. Hi, how you doing, buddy? Good to know. All right, let's see how else we're doing here. Got the cows. Maybe after tonight, I can let you guys out. Probably should get some more out here. Um, all right. I think I need another, at least another few out here. Okay. I hear you guys. Yes, I'm disappointed too. 
you can start the uh, court proceedings later. For right now, let me just try to finish getting the, getting things set up if I can. Yes, I hear. All right. There we go. So let's go ahead and just grab one there. Just in case. Let's see how we're doing over here. I hear you, skeleton. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Put him up here. Oh, that's probably pretty well lit. Get there and there just because. Let's go ahead and get a door on this one. Good. There's an extra door. Uh, now, how are we doing out here? Can't quite see where my torches are. Doing better. Go ahead and take care of this one, right? Did you want to come in, cow? You sure do, I bet, don't you? Well, maybe. Let's see what happens. Alright, is this place fairly well lit up? No, it's not. Alright, well, today was just a day of trying to get things actually officially fully lit up so I can let my villagers loose. And that's about it, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. There we go. Get things cleared up a little bit. Let me just just because we can. Okay. All right, and let's make sure we're clear over here. All right. I think that's hopefully enough. Part of what we can do, what I learned on in this last few minutes of day five, is uh, I can put a door there and it counts as a second door because as long as there's more than three spaces of open uh, land out there, we're good. Now, uh, curious, I think it should be at that level actually, it should be just fine. So I can add some doors to these very easily. I think there's somebody in this. There's no, there's nobody in this one, right? Right, so we could add a door right here. And it should add to the number of doors in the official doors in there. Go ahead and take that out and replace it for right now. Um, technically, we can do the same thing there, but I'm running out of daylight here. I do think I'm getting a little closer to having everything where it needs to be. Let's see. Here. And I need to get a little bit of food. All right. Well, there's my 19-minute warning in fact. And didn't accomplish anything I was expecting to with the exception of that one door. But uh, what I want to do is go around and count doors next time. And um, see if we can get the uh, let the uh, let our poor prisoners loose, and um, maybe oops, <laughs> just having a day here. Can't get my fingers in the right place. Um, did I get? I did, but not enough. There we go. And day six. There it is. All right. Well. 
We'll get uh, those and we'll call it quits. All right, so I'm start off the episode with some bad news. Uh, hopefully, finally gotten things lit up properly. Um, I hope. Uh, and I'll, uh, in episode six, we'll go ahead and let these guys loose. We'll put in a few more doors, try to get up the number of doors so that we can uh, increase our uh, number of villagers and uh, start heading towards maybe getting an iron golem. We'll um, probably, that'll take most of that episode. We'll try to build out some of these houses, make them a little nicer. Uh, we probably should redo the farms to make those a little bit more productive, but we can do those down the road. Uh, I think that's kind of the, the major points right now. So guys, appreciate you watching, and we'll, uh, we'll I'll try to take better care of the rest of my villagers here going forward. Uh, Grandma got uh, got game. Thank you for the, the wonderful series. I will actually try to talk more about it next time because you taught me a lot of good things here, and, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to use put them to good use in this. Until then, until episode seven, uh, excuse me, episode six. I will. Uh, I hope you guys take care, and I will catch you guys on the flip side.